Hi, I'm Carl with APT, and today we're going to talk about the two brands that have really kind of set themselves apart in the battle for best wireless music systems, Sonos and Denon. Here we have the Sonos Play 1 and the Denon, Denon Heos 1. These are their two entry-level speakers, and we're going to take a look at some of the uh, similarities and differences between the two. Let's start with the Sonos. This is a compact speaker that comes in a rectangular shape and is available in two different colors, white and black. On the front, sides, and back, you'll find a wire mesh grill with the Sonos logo. The rest of the case is made of a durable plastic material. The top has buttons for volume up and down, as well as a play-pause button. These also function as a way to pair the speaker to your Sonos system. On the back, you'll find a spot to hook up a wall mount, as well as an Ethernet connection if you choose to hardwire the speaker to your network. Now, the Denon Heos 1 has a slightly different look. It's about the same physical size, but the shape is a bit different. It's more angular and has a wire mesh grille covering just the front of the speaker. The rest of the casing is made from a durable plastic material as well. On the top of the Denon is where you'll find the volume up and down controls as well as a mute button. Located on the back are all the connections, including an auxiliary input, USB connection for listening to music stored on a thumb drive, an Ethernet connection for hardwiring the unit to your network, a connect button, and a reset button. There's also a spot for attaching an optional wall mount. Now moving on to sound quality, these both sound really good. We'll talk about the Sonos first. So the Sonos Play 1 here is going to have two different drivers. There's a tweeter and then a mid-range woofer. Those each get their own separate amplifier, so you really get good definition of sound in this one. And uh, not only that, but you can also pair it up with another Play 1 and create a stereo pair, or you can put them both as a stereo pair and link it up with a Play Bar and create a full surround sound system. So that's definitely a great option with the Sonos. Um, on the Denon, you have your two drivers still, a, a tweeter and then a mid-range woofer. Um, however, these only are controlled by one amplifier. Uh, so still great quality sound, just not, not I, I feel, quite as sharp as the Sonos. You can put two of these together and you can create a stereo pair, but you can't match them up with a sound bar to create surround sound system. So that's kind of where I think Sonos sort of, sort of takes it in this category. So now another great advantage of both of these speakers is they're both humidity resistant, which means you can put them in places like a bathroom if you like to listen to music while you're taking a shower. Um, and they're both small enough to where you can pick them up and bring them outside or put them in a different room if you wanted to, to get sound in a different area in your house. Now the Denon also gives you an option for a battery pack. So you can hook up a battery pack to the bottom of this one and not only is it going to give you about six hours of playback time, but it'll also turn this into a Bluetooth speaker. So at that point, it does not need to be hooked up to your wireless network in your house to be able to function. So you can really bring this with you just about anywhere you want to go and still get that great quality sound. So lastly, we're going to talk about the applications for both of the systems. Now, they're both, it's a free download off of the iOS or Android platform. Um, you can download it right onto your phone, onto your tablet, onto your computer, and that's going to give you easy access to all the music you have stored on your network, stored on your devices, um, and it's going to give you little, just little things that you can do. They both really have the same type of functionality. They're just laid out a little bit differently. Um, so, you know, decide, you decide which one you think is the easiest to use. They're both really good and they're both really simplified, so it's easy to get to wherever you need to go. You can, uh, you can send music to one particular part of the room um, or have different things playing on each speaker or have all the speakers playing the same thing, and you can control that all through the application right on your device. So that's everything. Um, take a look at both of them. We'd love to hear your feedback if you have one system, the other system, or both systems. Um, really want to get some good feedback on this. Let us know what you think is the best. And uh, leave your comments below and like and subscribe on YouTube.